This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Matt Douglas wants to know, Kurt, you wrestled three matches in both 2000 and 2001 King of the Ring events. Which was the hardest to wrestle multiple times in one night? And is it true that Shane McMahon hits kind of hard? <laughs> well, Shane can throw some haymakers, yes. Not all the time, but he can stiff you every once in a while. And he can hit pretty hard. Uh, but I would say the, 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 the toughest Royal Rum or the King of the Ring uh, that I did where I wrestled three matches in one night was 2000 because it was my first King of the Ring. I was only in the business for six months and uh, I had a lot to remember three matches in one night. Uh, it was, it was extremely exhausting uh, both mentally and physically. And, uh, but I would say 2001, uh, I wrestled a lot longer matches, especially with Shane. I think we went 32 minutes. So uh, they were both very difficult to do, but I'd have to say my first uh, King of the Ring was my toughest. Uh, AC513 says, were there talks about you winning the undisputed title at Vengeance 2001? Of course, we know uh, Chris Jericho wound up being the guy that night to pin not only The Rock, but Steve Austin. But he wants to know, do you think your name was discussed in that spot? It actually was. I was actually set to win the, the title. Um, but uh, Vince McMahon came to me about a week before and said, hey, um, I'm not going to put the title on you. I'm going to put it on Jericho because he's red hot right now. He's working his way up. He, you know, he needs his title more than you. And I agreed with Vince. I said, you're absolutely right. I'd put it on Jericho too if I were you. So uh, there, there was considered for me to win the title. But I think that Vince went with Jericho because Jericho needed it more. And Chris was a red hot baby face at the time. And, uh, you know, giving him that title just legitimized him even more. He deserved it. Duzatelli says your honor ring segments with the rock and stone cold were legendary. I still smile every time I think of them from all your time in the business. What were your favorite segments and who was the most enjoyable to work them with? Well, I had some great segments with Rock. I had some great segments with Austin. Uh, the one in particular with Austin would have been the milk truck incident, which was incredible. The cowboy hats, you know, singing with the uh, guitars. Uh, we had a lot of fun. With Rock, you know, we always do, do promos backstage, pre-tapes, where, you know, Dwayne would put me down or insult me, and I would insult him back. And, you know, and then there were times when we were both baby faces where, you know, we would talk about milk and I'd be talking about big jugs of milk and, you know, it goes great with pie rock and, you know, and, and insinuating women's breasts, but uh, it wa I wasn't really meaning that I was just saying, I just want great big jugs of milk to drink and uh, put my hands out there. Rock was like, yeah, you go get that milk angle. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing those pre-tapes. It, it was so much fun. We had a blast. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new contents. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.